This video is sponsored by Surfshark. All right, boys and girls, welcome to the sky. You catch me just having left Sanford International, uh, a class Charlie Airport, where uh, in the previous video, I busted a fifth. No, stop the drama, because it's not as difficult as you might think to go into a busier airport. The 100 indicated type or not. We got the arrival. I just want to point out the intimidation factor completely went away. The myth was that it's uh, difficult and intimidating uh, and tough to enter uh, a busier airport. Uh, if you've not seen it, just go and watch it. It's, it's a good watch for, for the people that think that uh, going into bigger, busier airports is more difficult. What we're going to go and do now, I'm going to go into Orlando Executive uh, to do some landing practice. Going to do a few touch and goes, a couple of different types of landings, see how it goes. We're trying a new view. I, I'm going to try and talk you through, I'm going to talk you through my landing. My copy, you can begin your uh, westbound turn and set up for the base into runway 7. All right, Roger, westbound, and we'll uh, set up for the base 7. Zero, my Niner. Yeah, I have no idea if that camera is going to show what I want it to show, but I kind of want to let you be a passenger on this flight, and that's that's kind of the kind of the height that you would be as a passenger, I think. Zero, Mike Alpha, you got a uh, BE-24 departing runway 7. You are number one to the field, runway seven, clear, touch and go. All right, number one, got the traffic in sight, uh, clear, touch and go, runway seven, six, zero, zero, off. If all goes well, that's going to show you my kind of view as to what I'm looking at. My technique is to, once you get into ground effect, look towards the end of the runway, hold the nose up to where you're looking, and just let the speed bleed off and the energy bleed off until the plane drops away. And then you pull back a little bit more to grease it in. Number six kilo mic when able. Hopefully that's going to show you the view for the end of the runway. So if not, we're just not going to use that view. Zero mic alpha traffic Pilatus departing runway seven. Roger, I sight zero mic alpha. If you need a uh, S turn, that's approved. Zero mic alpha. Roger. All right, so airspeed control is king, especially in a Cessna 172. All right, just a normal landing. So my aiming point uh, at the moment is the 500 foot markers. Thank you. That's where I've got my eyes. Make you number three runway seven clear touch and go. And I'm switching my eyes between outside, inside, outside, inside, looking at my airspeed, make sure my airspeed's okay. So my eyes are outside at the moment. I'm inside now looking at the airspeed. Airspeed hasn't moved, so it's where I want it. I've got my nose on my aiming point of the 500 foot markers just there here. I can feel the aircraft a little bit faster than I want it. It's just a couple of knots fast, but that's okay. We can bleed it off. There we go. We bleed it off to around 60. Now, Knowing what the Cessna does, floats, I've got the power off now, and I'm going to bring it into ground effect. Now, my eyes are at the end of the runway now, and I'm just holding that nose up to the end of the runway where I'm looking. As the energy bleeds off, the plane drops, I just pull back a little bit more, and that's where you hear the stall warning. Can we have a nice little landing? You are well outside my airspace, sir. Continuing uh, center line, the crosswind controls, approach, 55, rotate. Welcome back to the sky. Yeah, hopefully that gave you a picture of what I was looking at. That was a pretty nice Number landing. Mike Alpha, continuing the upwind for another half mile, then your left crosswind's approved. All right, half mile, and then the crosswind approach there, Mike Alpha. All right, so this next one, I am going to try and land on the 1,000 foot markers. That's going to mean that I'm going to have to aim my nose to a point that's before the 1,000 foot markers to be in ground effect and flaring over that point with eyes at the end of the runway flaring over that aiming point to be able to then float and touch down on the 1,000 foot markers. Remember Zero Mike Alpha, I'll call your base, two departures prior to you. Hi Roger, you call it, Zero Mike Alpha. Actually, uh, while we're extending a little bit, Earth, the beautiful legend that Murph is invited me up to the uh, control tower the other day. I invited Seth to come with me. Uh, we went up there and learned all about how the tower operation goes and to see the air traffic control side of things, which I think is so important to... Uh, is there a mic alpha? I believe I said alright, but I'll call your base. You call the base, there, Mike. Priceless, such valuable information and valuable experience to go and see. If you ever get the chance to go to a control tower and see how it all works, it never ceases to amaze me what these people do. Such a cool experience, so thanks, Murph. Base turn, there, Mike. But I've got 10 degrees of flaps in there on my base. I'm looking for around 75 knots. 70 to 75. Trim. Runway 7, cleared, low approach only. Up for uh, Zero Mike Alpha. Zero Mike Alpha, A firm, clear, low approach only. Low approach only, Zero Mike Alpha. 
All right, never mind. Number two. While I'm doing a low approach, this is a great time to tell you about this video's sponsor, Surfshark. Pilots are always on the move and sometimes out of your home country, which means inevitably you're going to lose access to your favorite shows on your various streaming platforms. Truth is, some countries don't have certain titles on the platforms, and that makes me feel like saying, Oh, son of a bit, son of a bit, son of a bit, the bit of gun. <laughs> However, those expletive-filled pig rants can be kept at bay by using Surfshark VPN. Connect to one of their over 3,200 servers from a variety of different countries and instantly gain access to the show that you so desperately crave. Do what I do. If the title isn't available in my home country, I'll search on Google which country has it available and then just switch to that country server. It's so simple. Another reason I love Surfshark is for the peace of mind it gives me. As pilots, safety is our number one priority and that should spread to our online presence too. With Surfshark, you protect from malware, phishing attempts, and anyone trying to steal your personal information over things like public Wi-Fi at the airport. The very nature of a VPN is to encrypt your online data, which keeps the malicious things at bay, and Surfshark is the best at protecting you. Get Surfshark right now and use my discount code to make it even more affordable than it already is. Follow the link in my description or the pinned comment and sign up for Surfshark using code LUDIX. That's going to get you 83% off, plus you're getting three months on top of that absolutely free. What a deal. Thanks to Surfshark for supporting Ludix Aviation. Now let's go around. All right, set power. Number 734, Quebec Alpha, ready for departure, away 7. 734, Quebec Alpha, exec tower, Roger, standby is going to be just a little bit. We had a whole string of them lined up. Four Quebec Alpha, standing by, runway 7. I saw this firsthand in the tower with Murph. They just stack up approach, stacks up, and they just keep sending the jets. And uh, towers, Zermak Alpha on the crosswind. Uh, I've got uh, traffic ahead, it's my left inside, not sure if they're in the pattern or not. Zero Mike Alpha, I'm sorry I didn't give you information about them, but they're no factor for you. They're heading northwest. Perfect. All right, great. Thanks, Zero Mike Alpha. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's do it. We're back on the down. We'll see if we can get an actual landing on this next one. 670 Mike Alpha, you have a Cherokee 12 o'clock, three and a half miles on a heading of 130, descend through 1,500. I'm going to put them before you. They are student solo, so I'm going to get them before you. All right, Roger. We'll slow it up for them. We'll look for them, Zero Mike Alpha. Thank you. I'm going to slow it up. Student pilot, you I take got my priority. Coming up for you, for Quebec Alpha. Just stand by. Appreciate your patience. Student pilot solo. Okay, so I think I've got him ahead, yeah. 670 Mike Alpha, the uh, Cherokee you're going to be following is entering three and a half mile final. Let me know when you see him. Hi, Roger, thanks. Uh, so, 670 Mike Alpha, got the student solo in sight. 670 Mike Alpha, your base turn to prove following him. Base turn to prove, Zero Mike Alpha. 670 Mike Alpha, number two, runway seven, clear touch and go. Number two, clear touch and go, runway seven, Zero Mike Alpha. All right, finals clear. We're going to give this student plenty of time. My plan is to land on the 1,000-foot markers, okay, so that's my focus. And I want my airspeed to be around 60, maybe just below 60. <laughs> Which at the moment it's not, it's 65, but that's all right. Coming up just a moment, stand by. 478 Alpha, Alpha 6 of table, if not, no delay Alpha 5, you got traffic just inside of mile final. Go delay Alpha 5, 478 Alpha. Yeah. Congratulations to that student, whoever you Number are. Seven, eight, six, kill, Mike. You're gonna be All right. For the, uh, so I'm actually power off yeah, at the moment. Actually, uh, I need to drop it in a little bit because I'm way hot. too high. I'm full Number. flaps. I got my eyes on my aiming point. Still, my nose is down towards my aiming point. My airspeed is coming down to kind of where I want it now. And I want to be power off and flaring. Turning base, clear to land, runway 7, 865, pop here. 713, Sir Quebec, exit. Just, just, at the tip of the 1,000-foot mark. A12 Delta Alpha, no delay, runway 7 Alpha 7, clear for takeoff, keep her on for me. 60, and a one rotate. Off. Welcome back to the, the sky. Seven, alpha seven. This Best thing just would not slow down. Cessna! Yes! Seven, three, Sir, All right, we're going for the 1,000-foot markers again. Uh, it, it, it floated. I landed. Six, seven, Mike Alpha, the uh, diamond you're following is approaching down and extending. Do the same, please. All right, we'll extend to Zero Michael. They just uh, floated and floated and caused me to land kind of a little bit flat as I was trying to make the point, which you shouldn't really do. You should force it down. However, this time, I'm going to bring my aiming point further back, so maybe the 500-foot Marcus. Landing struggles in a Cessna 172. And you may ask why I'm choosing to fly this rather than the Cherokee, because I much prefer the Cherokee. Well. Thanks. The Cherokee is unfortunately no longer with us. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch, bitch. Zero Mike Alpha, the diamond you're following is in a uh, three and a half mile base. Let me know when you see him. I got the traffic sight, Zero Mike Alpha. Zero Mike Alpha, number three, runway seven, clear, touch and go. Number three, clear, touch and go, runway seven, uh, six, seven, Zero Mike Alpha. 
All right, so I am actually going to slow it. Oh, below 110, 10 degrees of flaps. Still got my traffic there. Speed is bleeding off. Might as well bleed it down to 60 knots now because uh, it's not going to want to slow down on final. Still got the diamond. We are actually 60 knots on a downwind. I'll tell you what, it gets hot when you got no airflow. Good grief. Slow flight. All right, we're turning. All right, turning final. Air 812 Delta for main outside the Bravo. All right, we're lined up on final. Final notch of flats will be below 85. We're golden. That diamond should be out of the way. So, I'm looking at the 500 foot markers. That's going to give me a little bit of extra time to flow and to put myself into a better pitch attitude for the touchdown. So I think, like I'm power idle at the moment. Uh, whatever. Cessnas, man. All right, my speed's where I want it. I'm going to try and keep it at that. All the way down, my eyes are on my aiming point. Still 60 knots, just below, just above, it's fluctuating. Central aircraft information, Romeo current. Orlando is I am power idle. New weather. It just will not drop. Incredible, these things. All right, I'm coming up to my uh, 500 foot markers. There's my 500 foot. I'm power off, I'm looking at the end of the runway, I'm holding my nose to it, it's float, float, float. All the way down to the thousand foot markers. It's hilarious. Three miles. Alright, in 55, we're rotating. Welcome back to the sky. This is literally a boat. All it does is float. I have my power out, again, way out there. My aiming point was even further back, and it's still floated to basically the same point that I touched down on the first one. Like, Caravan Alpha 7 thing. But anyway, the point is we made the point, so that's what I'm looking for. This time, what should we do this time? Softfield on the thousand foot markers. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do softfield on the thousand foot markers. And obviously, land as soft as possible, and then you're holding the back pressure in there on the Remember, uh, four seven eight alpha. You see the Skyhawk in the cross on the rollout because you want to keep that nose out of the so grass. There's there, Mike Alpha. Diamond, you're following. Extending their downwind for these departures. Do the same, please. Roger, we do the same. Got to be inside. There, Mike Alpha. Thank you. All right, another extended downwind. Let me know if this view has helped you out. Let me know. I don't even know if it's reaching over this. It looks like it is there. In the flare, I'm not sure it shows the end of the runway, but whatever. Let me know if that's a decent view, because if it is, then I'll bring it back. So, all right, my aiming point again, around the 500 foot markers. I'm going to be power off and flare in there. Eyes at the end of the runway at that point, holding my nose to it. I want to land as softly as possible. I mean, landings have been soft, but I've not been keeping the nose up. This is a soft field tech, soft short field technique. Two in one. My final notch of flaps. Everything's been done. We're all looking good. Gumps check complete. A little bit high. Outside, inside, outside, inside with the eyes. My speed is bleeding off to where I want it. Around 60 at the moment. There always seems to be a little bit of turbulence coming over that point. Right, no, I'm, I'm power idle. Just floating this thing. Alright, now I've added a little bit of power. Back to power idle. I'm coming up to my point. I want to be power off and flaring off my 500 foot markers. There's my 500 foot. I see the end of the runway. Holding the nose to it. Holding the nose, holding it, holding it. There we go. Landed on the 1,000 foot markers. And there's my soft field technique until we slow down. And that's it simulated. Let's uh, roll flaps up. Station Air 27 Golf Papa, Exec Tower, let's get you set up on we roll. final, sir. Intercept uh, final for runway 7. You're following a Skyhawk, currently 4 mile final. And I'm going to have Oosh. a Welcome diamond back to the sky. before you as well. well. That one was good. Soft. Short field, both two in one, and uh, we kept the nose up and kept it out of the. Uh, Six seven the zero, bottom. Mike Alpha, continue in the upwind. I'll call your left crosswind. We got stationary inbound from the west. All right, Roger. We'll uh, extend the upwind for six seven zero, Mike Alpha. Short approach, if at all possible, to a full stop. Roger, sir. I got you on request. I'm gonna see what I can do for you. Roger. But yeah, that was good. I'm happy with that one. Uh, it was closer to the middle of the thousand foot markers, which is actually where I want to be. 
It wants to float though, 500 foot markers, and I'm at like 60, 55, 60 knots. Like, and it still floats. Number zero, Mike Alpha, reaching midfield, make a right 360. We're going to get you set up to follow the stationary inbound. Four mile final, and we're going to try to get you that short approach. That's amazing, we'll do right 360 in midfield, appreciate it, sir, Michael. The air, air traffic control will help you out where they can. They're, they're there to be your friend, man. Like, people are afraid of them. When you're a student pilot, you come in to fly and, uh, and you're scared of talking to air traffic control. These guys are here to help you out. Like, I was speak up at the tower speaking to one of the... Uh, speaking to Murph, speaking to... Uh, uh, one of the uh, the ladies that was up there, that was the, the ground controller, she was teaching me a lot of stuff and just being so nice. And, like, these people are there to be your friend. Remember, Zero Mike Alpha, if you keep your uh, 360 tight, stationary you're following is one mile final. All right, Roger, we'll keep you tight, Zero Mike Alpha. Zero Mike Alpha, your short approach approved, runway seven, quick land. Quick land with the short approach, runway seven, Zero Mike Alpha, appreciate it. Absolutely. Here we go, all right, power's out. We're going to do this as short as humanly possible. Uh, just because of that, I'm going to put 10 degrees of flaps in. Usually, I wouldn't put flaps in this early. However, we're going to keep it really f short. So I know I've made the runway at this point. 27 golf pop left turn in, ground point four. All right, I think we can make alpha five and then ground point four. 27 golf pop. Thank you. We all three in. I know I've made this. Nice. Perfect. Keep the nose down towards the runway, 65 knots. I've got three stages of flaps in there. We've got plenty of energy. Coming around, we've made this no problem. Speed's even a little bit high at the moment. Aiming point is the same. Uh, still looking at the 500 foot markers. Zero Mike Alpha, if you can make Alpha 6, that's approved. If not, looks like uh, Alpha 5 should be moving here shortly. Ah, uh, we got Alpha 6, Zero Mike Alpha. Zero Mike Alpha, thank you. Ground point 4, have going. Ground point 4, thanks for all the help. You've been great. Zero Mike Alpha. Appreciate it. Skyhawk Zero Mike Alpha, well, welcome back. Ludix, uh, let's pass it back to park and buy Alpha and Echo. I will do that then. Alpha and Echo for a 6, seven, Zero Mike Alpha. It's great to hear your voice, man. Gracias, likewise, sir. All right, well, yep. Well, there we go. The only one I wasn't too pleased with was the second one. Kind of landed a little bit flat, but you never want to force it down. You want to put yourself into a better position than that. Oh my God. There is no point having a shower before flying if you're flying in Florida. Holy Jesus, man. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I'll see you on the next one. <sighs> Jesus. Should have brought a towel. Whew.